is chapter one, part two. A little bit more practice with a little bit of uh, some new information. Okay. So if you guys have the time, go ahead and type this out on a new document. Okay. So you're going to go ahead and open up a blank document and then go ahead and type or key the um, following letter below. Okay. And it gives you the blues what you're typing. And then the black is the instructions, right? So after I type the, the date, so theoretically, I'd want to put today's date. So right now it's 6-3-2019. Okay, so after I type that, I'd hit enter twice. And so these symbols, the show hide symbols, should be turned on right now. So now I'm able to see I have one, two, two lines, right? And then I'm on to the next part. Okay, so um, this is on YouTube, so you can go ahead and hit pause so that you can see everything you're typing, and I'm going to move forward. Okay, so when you're done typing the letter, go ahead and we're going to save it to your Word Chapter 1 folder, which we should have already created. Okay, so I'm going to go File, Save As. Okay, we always, when it's a first document, the first time we're saving something, we always want to do Save As and not Save. Because when you do Save, it's going to just automatically save it to the last place that you had had it saved. So if you've never saved it before on these computers, it's usually going to save to the download folder, which you guys don't have access to as students. Okay, so it's just a good habit when you're opening a new or saving a new document, you're going to use file save as. Okay, so we'll go to file save as, and then you guys will go find your chapter one folder. Okay, you're going to open that up. You're going to type in, um, this one's going to be called tech. Terrace, okay, Tech Terrace. And then you should see down here, it says save as type. So if we wanna save it as a different type of document, that's where we'll click this drop down, And we have all these different options, okay? So if you wanna save something as a PDF, if you wanna save something as a, an older word, right? So um, right now we're gonna do the 97 to 2003 document, okay? So we click on that, and then we we'll change the name to Tech Terrace, and then let's put the 97 to 2003. Okay, and then I'm going to hit Save. Okay. And now let's say we want to save it as a PDF. Okay, so this is a good skill to have because sometimes you don't want to submit or print off something as a Word Sometimes you want to submit it as a PDF, right? So a good example would be your resume. When you're submitting an online resume, you never want to submit it as a Word document. You always want to submit it as a PDF or a picture of some sort. So again, we go File, Save As. And I would go click on the folder I want to save it as. And I can click the drop down and choose PDF. The other option that we have, let's say I just want to export it. I can click the Export button and then over here we have this create a PDF slash XPS button okay so when I click on that it'll ask me to change the name so I can change the name to let's do tech terrace three put a three on the end okay and then I'll click publish and then it's going to automatically open the file in Adobe so let's see give it a couple all right, opened up on my other screen, but I drag it over here. Okay, so now it's saved as a PDF file. Okay. Next thing, let's go ahead and close out that and click the X button. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a single space document using a template. Okay, so we haven't really talked about templates, but if I go to File, I'm going to, go to File, I'm going to click on New, right? It's for a new document. So Backstage View, New. And then I have all these different templates, okay? So if you guys see that we have a single space blank one. The other option is if I want to search for a template, right? Let's say I want to look for a certification one, right? I type in what I'm looking for. I can either hit enter on my keyboard or I can click the search. Okay, it looks like there's none like that. We'll say invitation. If I can spell invitation. Is that how you spell invitation? It is. See, so now I have all these different templates that are pre-made. Okay, and then if I just want to go back to home, I click on home. Okay, so we're going to click single space blank, and we're going to click this create button right here. Okay, so it's going to automatically open up a new 
file for us. It's the single space blink. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn off the show hide. So go ahead and click on that and it will disappear. Click on it again, it appears. Okay. Okay, so now we want to, it's a brand new document. So what are we going to do? File, save as, right? So file, save as, and we'll go to our chapter one folder. And I'm going to type in, let's do welcome memo. Did you get the memo? Okay, and then I'm going to click save. So it'll save it. Okay, and then I'm going to copy and paste. You guys will have to type it. Don't worry about typing at all. Um, I'm not worried about your typing skills because I know that they probably aren't very good already. So, but, so then, right, type in the blue, hit enter twice or three times it wants me to. If I go here, it wants me to hit tab once. Here, I would go enter twice. Okay, you get the idea. So, we'll just skip all that part. Okay, and then now if I want to save the file, I don't have to do file save as anymore because now I've told the computer where I want it to save. So now I can actually just click this icon, the save, or I can do the shortcut, which is control and S. But it's really quick. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to open anything up. I just click that button. Okay, make sure you guys are saving it to the right spot too. If you have any questions on where to save it, you can check with me. I've had a lot of students that save it in the wrong spot and then they come to me complaining. They're like, I can't find it and they have to redo the assignment because they weren't smart enough to figure out where to save it. So um, check with me if you have any questions. You're smart, you guys will be able to figure it out. Okay, um, let's see. Okay, and I'm gonna skip the next part because it's pretty much the exact same thing we just did. Just remember, um, if I wanna save it as a different type of file, right? Backstage, save as, choose where I'm putting it, and then I can, the save as type, I can change that, okay? And then we also have the templates, okay? Right, so if I go file new, I have all these different templates that I that are pre-made. Um, they are a little bit more difficult to work with, right? Like it's harder to customize them because they're already set kind of in what they want. But if you can find one that meets what you're looking for, then go ahead and, and go for it, okay? And that is for, that's all for this lesson.